Good afternoon and welcome back to Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. Justin Smith here bringing you another new arrival that uh, just recently showed up. Uh, this is a very unique van. Uh, you might wonder how it's unique. It looks like a, many other Explorer vans, but we're going to get into detail and you'll shortly see how unique this van is. Don't see too many like this, so I'm kind of excited to do this video. What I have is a 2014 Chevrolet Express 135 inch wheelbase. Uh, seven passenger Explorer conversion van. Now this is Explorer's top of the line. This is a limited XSE model. Okay, so it's the bright white with the two-tone, uh, well, with the gray medallion ground affix package, um, billet uh, mesh uh, grill in the front, 20 inch wheels. This thing is just absolutely gorgeous. And guys, it's the last year that GM built the, the seven or the half ton van with doors on both sides. 2014 was the last year for that. Uh, so you don't want to miss out on this one. Not too many uh, 2014s floating around in this good of shape and with only 15,000 miles. Yes, folks, 15,000 miles. This thing is awesome. So, you know, um, doors on both sides, guys. So we got doors um, that open up over here on the driver's side and uh, doors on the curb side. But I'm just gonna walk around this van no door dings, no scratches. Rear mounted uh, spare tire. Why is the tire back here? Because it has a generator underneath where the uh, rear tire would usually go and a roof air system. This uh, van does have a factory backup camera located right here. Also has backup sensors in the rear bumper. GM Stabilitrack, um, anti-lock brakes, so it's got all the safety goodies. So we'll get on over to the curb side of this van. And one thing that's unique about this is the RV plug-in. So this uh, has the capability to be at a campsite, I guess, or anywhere you can park it in and run the roof air up there without having the vehicle uh, running, which is really cool. Um, any of uh, dog show people out there looking for a van to be able to keep your dogs cool while you go in and eat at Cracker Barrel or whatnot, this is a perfect perfect van for that you can run the air system with the generator and not have the van uh, run so really cool feature being a seven passenger uh, does have two captain chairs in the back of the van these are two-tone uh, light gray with dark gray inserts fully adjustable fully reclinable will slide forward and back and they swivel rear sofa is a three-piece power rear sofa uh, so it has the ability to slide forward and back, all power, and will fold completely flat. Now, here's the generator controls. Um, as you see, it's a Cummins generator. Only has 26.4 hours on it. Um, and here's your roof air and heat system right here. Guys, if you're looking for a conversion van and live in the southern part of the United States, uh, these fans will struggle to keep the back cool when you're up around 100 degrees, not this bad boy right here. So if you've had problems uh, with vans staying cool in, in, in really hot climates, uh, this might be your ticket right here. Um, does feature indirect lighting. I do not have that on. I apologize. Um, right here is a dimmer switch for the indirect lighting in the back. you got USBs too on each side of the rear sofa. An additional two 110s right there on the wall. There's even a 110 outlet and more USB storage back here behind the rear sofa. Do you have the clothes rack in this van? So you can hang all your clothes across the back of the van. Overhead storage, one, two, three, four, five overhead storage bins in this van. Uh, 20 uh, seven inch TV that is a Samsung LED smart television. And that is paired up to this Panasonic Blu-ray player. Now this is Explorer's gaming console, what we have right here. And uh, when I say gaming console, it's got all the, um, it's got the capability to plug a game system in, uh, connect to your HDMI, change your source on your TV, and uh, you can play PlayStation or Xbox going down the road. Quite frankly, anything that uses a USB, um, you'll be able to connect to this TV. Now, as far as watching movies go, um, you do have the opportunity to listen to, to the through the Clarion uh, surround sound speakers in the back, or if you flip this little TV speaker switch to the off position, 
it sends all the sound to these wireless headphones that are provided in this van and that pretty much wraps up the back um, of this uh, seven passenger Explorer conversion van let me jump up in the front here for you guys go over all the amenities in the front of this van I mean just look at the front of this hood here no rock chips whatsoever this thing has been garage kept um, we actually purchased this van off an older gentleman uh, who's not able to drive anymore so it's been babied it really has I mean the, even the front seats look like they've never even been sat in um, speaking of front seats same nice two-tone chairs we got in the back uh, eight-way adjustable with power lumbar and heat um, and between the front two seats you'll notice there is a cooler here it does have a removable liner and the lid acts as um, cup holders so that's pretty cool three more cup holders here on GM center console little glove box factory navigation 6.5 inch screen uh, CD player AM FM radio as well as satellite this fan's got all the power equipment guys power windows power mirrors keyless entry and remote start so it's got all the goodies uh, nice leather wrapped wheel with controls on both sides of the airbag these are going to allow you to uh, navigate through your navigation system, um, adjust your cruise control, give voice commands to the, the radio, and answer a hands-free phone call. Guys, I don't know if you can see that. 15,746 miles as long as this van has on it. So this is as close to a new 2014 as you're probably going to find anywhere in the country. We've got it on sale at a heck of a price right now. And uh, if you got any questions on anything that I might not have covered in this van, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Justin Smith. And maybe you have questions on a different van uh, or maybe you're looking for a certain type of van that we don't have, give us a call. And uh, for those of you that like the videos that we do, or again, you're in search of that perfect van that you've yet to find, I kindly ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and even like us on Facebook. That's going to better your chances of not missing out on the next great deal here at Paul Sherry Conversion Bands. Once again, I'm Justin Smith. Thanks for your time and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.